Hello. Hello. Nice to meet you. And you? <laughs> I've been chasing you, man. <laughs> the finally, last couple of days. Finally, today yes. we got a space. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Welcome to Vintage Kenya Talk Show. Uh, mm -hmm. My guest today is... Steph. Steph. <laughs> nice to meet you, Steph. And you? Yeah. We want to bring you some good content at your doorstep uh, about traveling around the world. So if you're planning to visit anywhere around the world, we got our expert here today. She's visited so many places, so many destinations. So please keep watching. Thank you, Steph. <laughs> so I hear that you have traveled a lot. I have not very far, far. I haven't gone as far as, say, Australia. But I've, yeah. growing up, I've predominantly done a lot of traveling around the UK, various parts of the UK, yeah. and then ventured as far as Turkey and other places as well. So you've traveled around to Europe? Yes. Okay. So which place have you been in Europe? Have you been to Spain? I've been to Spain. Yeah. Been to um, Ibiza, which is one of the Bal Balearic Islands, I think it's pronounced. Mm. Been to Cyprus, let's say Turkey. Wow. Been to France when I was 15 on a school yeah. exchange. Yeah. Very different. So let's start. Uh, so many people are going to Greece. Uh, Greece, I mean. So what's so interesting that attracted you to visit that place? And which place in particular did you visit? We, we went to Crete. Um, yeah. That was in 1987. So it was with my parents. Yeah, with your parents. Yeah, yeah. And we, I don't actually know what made my parents look at going to Crete. Yeah. But all I know is we had a very eventful journey home because we travelled back to the UK in the hurricane, the great hurricane of 87. Wow. Was it 87? Yeah. So that was quite eventful, being on a plane with, with a lot of turbulence. <laughs> How was your flight there? G going there was lovely, but oh. it was just the flight coming home. <laughs> but there was a, there's a lot to do over in uh, Greece. Oh, it's, it's good to, it's very interesting how you can flash back many years back when you used to travel with your parents. But now we're going to zoom to future, to the present, I mean. So you've been to Cyprus? Yes. Uh, what attracted you to visit Cyprus? And uh, what did you tell our audience if they want to visit Cyprus? What places they, can they visit? Okay. What places they can, can they go for Italy? Mm -hmm. yeah. I, my mum's sister was out there with her husband who was based in the Royal Air Force in Akateri. Yeah. So we went for a holiday. A um, couple of places that I would recommend is a, a bay called Turtle Bay. It's probably Turtle got a lot bay. more popular, 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 sorry. Yeah, popular. Yeah. Um, but it was a nice secluded little bay where obviously there was turtles. There's also um, Famagusta, which is another part of Limas uh, Cyprus, not quite quite away from Limassol, yeah. which is uh, an abandoned, it, it was a city, city that's been abandoned. Oh, wow. So you quite often, you could see washing that had been left out where literally people just scarpered or left, leaving belongings behind. Oh, okay. How was the food there? Or was it a shock to you or, and the weather? The weather, the I, I do, I do like my, I do like the hot weather. <laughs> so it was, it was quite, it was hotter than it was, Supposed to be. We yeah. when we went in September, it was virtually in the forties, yeah. so it was very hot. Forty degrees. Yes. Wow, that's hot. Um, but I, there is, I say, nightlife in Cyprus is very good. People are very friendly as well, yeah. very friendly, and they speak pretty, very good English as well. So, if you are planning to travel for any tourist destination, we have our travel lady with us here. Not with Richard Ayoade, this one is with Stephanie. Yes. <laughs> so I'm sure you visit Cyprus. If you are watching this from Cy Cyprus, please subscribe to Vintage Kenya 8690 and give us a shout, leave a comment, like and share my content. Yeah. And somewhere else I would recommend going is in Turkey, Fethiye. So Turkey is another big destination yes. that people are visiting. What, which place? Fethiye, which Fethiye. The, there's two airports that predominantly are used in Turkey, yeah. Antal I think it's Antalya and Dalaman. Fethiye, you use Dalaman Airport. It's yeah. about 45 minutes from the airport to the resort. 
45 minutes from the airport to the, to the resort, resort yeah. you've got plenty of sandy beach or like beaches plenty of water sports paragliding yeah. which is what i plan to do next time a lot on. of activities before you go further uh, stephanie i just want to ask you like did you book half board or full board like mm -hmm. all inclusive what would you recommend? We always booked half board. Half board. Because especially when I was a child, yeah. my dad was one that he liked to find small in like small restaurants where you get more local food. Yeah. He didn't want to be restricted to being at a hotel for breakfast, lunch, dinner, or for the drinks. That's why we never we never went full so the, board. The, the purpose for half board is like you can explore. Yes. Instead you, of getting restricted into yeah, one. You have your breakfast and your evening meal at the pub, um, at the hotel, sorry. Yeah. And then, we, so then if you want to go out during the daytime, you can then get your own bit of lunch somewhere else yeah. rather than thinking, oh, because you've already paid for it at the time of the booking. Yeah. It is more, um, it gives you more options being half bored. So we, we're going to talk about also, are people friendly there and about the security? If you're planning to travel to Turkey, Steph is going to tell us more about the security there. How are people like there? Are they friendly? And how are they treating uh, visitors or tourists or foreigners there? I found Turkey to be the most friendliest place that I've, out of all the places I've been to, yeah. um, to the point that I have I've said, even though I've been to Turkey only a couple of times, it would it, I feel at home there when it's very strange for me to feel settled especially in a foreign country being away only for a couple of weeks yeah. but Turkey let's say very very generous and kind people so you are warmly welcomed in very Turkey. warmly very warmly and how is the food like I like Turkish food Turkish restaurant how well, is the food like there if you find the right restaurants, some do very nice Turkish food. The part in uh, Fethiye where I stayed, they have a strip which is called Chalice Beach, but it's spelled C A L I S. Yeah. And there's a selection of restaurants along that strip which you can get a choice of Chinese food, oh. um, Italian food, yeah. some Turkish food, yeah. and I so say all very reasonably, very reasonably priced and they're very they're more than happy to accommodate if people have a dietary requirement okay. they they're very let's say very accommodating yeah step you, you were born and raised in uk here i was yes yeah so what places would you advise someone who is from abroad you know from africa whatever continent you're watching this what what place did you advise someone if they're coming to europe as uh, a tourist destination i would uh, for people uh, particularly in the uk okay it, if I start firstly in the UK, you've got Cor the regions of Cornwall, Cornwall which yeah. is very beautiful. Devon, which is next door, the next county next from Cornwall. From Cornwall, yeah. Um, Wales is beautiful. You've got the Lake Districts in the UK, which you can, you've got so much you can do. You can do water sports, walks, mountain walks. Then you've also got Scotland, which you've got the Highlands is beautiful. Trouble is, you, it's, you, it does take a while. If if you're driving to Scotland, yeah. it does take a good seven, eight plus hours. Yeah. But for the scenery and I say, um, and then let's like say going abroad, I I like saying, I'd recommend Spain. Spain, highly yeah. recommend Turkey, Turkey and let's say Cyprus but then okay. I, I've enjoyed every like the places I've gone Indian but Indian. Turkey and Cyprus were my two and let's yeah, say and Spain yes oh that's interesting wow uh which place I was I was thinking about France mm -hmm. but before we step there I'm also checking on the time yeah yeah and uh how was your experience? What like what kind? What airline would you advise people? Because you've traveled a lot, and particularly maybe you, you use specific airlines to travel to this destination. Predominantly, I've we've whenever we've gone away on holiday, we've always booked it through the holiday company. So it's whether yeah, it's been company. Thomas Cook yeah. or Tui, as they're now known, or um, 
but I've always, I've, when I went to Tenerife last, not December, just gone December yeah, before, previously, yeah. I, we flew with EasyJet and Easy Jet. I'd highly recommend EasyJet, but obviously some people do experience <laughs> problems. Okay. If you're working with EasyJet, man, <laughs> yeah. we, adver we are advertising your company. Yes. So <laughs> ensure you subscribe to Vintage Kenya talk show. It's Vintage Kenya 8690. So EasyJet has been giving you amazing reception. Very good, yes. Good. And uh, do they provide like snacks when you travel a yeah, long way? Yeah, I mean, you can, obviously, the staff are... you, they don't, they're not, they don't give you anything free, you know, you so, but it's not, um, it's not extortionate. I mean, obviously okay. it's, a yeah, it's slightly more expensive. Exorbitant. Yeah, it's yeah. slightly more expensive, say, than if you bought it in a shop, yeah. but it's not as extravagant or highly priced if say you were going so like a service station where they might bump the prices up i, I know we are just running uh out of time but have you tra have you traveled to any part of africa no no country no so i would i would highly recommend next time if you want to travel abroad i would recommend you travel to kenya definitely <laughs> the kenyan people are very friendly <laughs> very welcoming and They'll offer your accommodation for free. <laughs> I'll, I'll be there. I'll be there. Yeah, we got uh, animal natural reserves. And on the coastal, we got uh, Mombasa. It's a Swahili spoken region. Nice places to visit. We got beautiful hotels, amazing hotels. And it's, it's just a palace there. If you take your time one day, visit Kenya, you will experience such a wonderful reception. Yeah. Otherwise, Step a lash out because I know I, I will catch up with Steph again. It's been very brief. Yes, no, we will. I wanted us to continue more, but because of the time, oh my God, I wish we had we had rewind, we had rewinded the time back. Yeah. <laughs> so, last shout. What do you want to tell our audience? It's been a pleasure to come and talk. I know I haven't travelled very very far, but it's been a pleasure, and I look forward to talking to you all again thank you steph and uh, stay tuned with <laughs> vintage kenya sometimes it's take it take a while for me to yeah oh now it's, it should be off technology oh no <laughs> oh what's going on with this thing it's okay, keep watching. You can just <laughs> see people who have been talking to you. Honestly. I'll have to go manually because uh, 